Hey guys, welcome back to Loop Hub. Today we'll talk about the best moments in my 600 pound life. Let's head into it. Number 1. Lisa Fleming. Lisa Fleming, star of the TLC reality show, My 600 pound life passed away on Thursday. She was 50 years old at the time. Right now, I'm at a loss for words. I wish she would hold on until I arrived, but God knew what was best for me. I didn't need to see you in such a state. Daniel Fleming, Fleming's daughter, posted on her Facebook page. I sat and held your hand for 4 hours this morning, knowing there was nothing I could do to bring you back to me. Anyone who knows me, knows that I gave my mom everything I had. I loved her to the heavens and back, because she was my universe, and I was her number one girl. Mommy, those little ones adored you even more. I'm relieved you're no longer in pain and confined to your bed. Please pray for me, check on me, and come see how I'm doing because I'm not doing well. I adore my mother and would never wish this suffering on my worst enemy. Mother Alicia M. Fleming, may you rest in peace. Danielle told TMZ that her mother's death had nothing to do with her size. She said Lisa had shed 200 pounds as a result of her appearance on the show. Lisa, she claimed, was sick before appearing on the TLC show and eventually died of different ailments. Number 2. Kalisa McMillan Kalisa McMillan, an obese mother of four, who appeared on the TLC reality show My 600 Pound Life, died on September 21 at the age of 41. She died around 10.23 p.m. on Monday night, according to a Facebook post allegedly shared by her relatives. Her death was caused by complications after her weight loss operation, according to the Daily Mail. Each episode of My 600 Pound Life, which has been airing since 2012, chronicles a year in the life of morbidly obese people. The episode's subjects, who weigh at least 600 pounds, are followed as they try to lose weight and get back to a healthy weight. Macmillan weighed 643 pounds at the time of taping her episode and had previously had a heart attack that had been made considerably worse by her fat. Doctors were apparently unable to repair the damage to her heart due to her weight, which rendered surgery difficult. Macmillan made an appearance on Season 8's 12th episode, which aired on March 18 of this year. By the end of the episode, she was said to have weighed 499 pounds. Kalisa McMillan, who recounted her experience on My 600 Pound Life, was tragically lost to TLC. TLC Network tweeted on Wednesday, Our sincere condolences to her family at this terrible time. McMillan had a difficult life. It was allegedly full of abuse and harassment from various adults she has known since she was a child. Her mother died of cancer when she was 3 years old. She was left with an alcoholic and abusive father. When she was placed in foster care, things began to improve. She was allegedly molested by one of her cousins when she was a child. When others close to her failed to trust their claims, she turned to food for solace. Things worsened when her father remarried a 16-year-old girl and returned with Macmillan and her brother, ostensibly for the welfare checks. Her stepmother had a physically violent relationship with her as well, a teen pregnancy and a violent relationship with a man she married after dropping out of high school, further added to her life's slew of misfortunes. By the age of 25, Macmillan had gained almost 500 pounds. Her husband was imprisoned when she was 30. She finally found the courage to leave him at that point. After that, she relocated to Louisiana with her family, where she met her fiancé Melvin. She added of meeting Melvin on the show, it was almost like we instantaneously fell in love, you know? And me and my kids moved in with him, so life was better off a bit. But alas, that too was not to last. Melvin died as a result of an automobile accident. That upset me, she recalled. But I did what I needed to do to get through it, which was to eat so I didn't fall apart. I've let eating squander my life. It's just hunger, need, and craving. It's completely consumed my life, and I'm completely exhausted. This life has worn me down. On the broadcast, she commented, Living like this isn't living. I can feel the weight on my shoulders. It's as though my body is attempting to give up, and I'm aware of that, but I can't give up. I owe it to my children to be here. Macmillan was well aware of the dangers of her weight. If I don't drop this weight, I'm going to die, she says. I'm aware that I'm I'm going to die because I do feel like I'm on the verge of exploding. My heart could stop beating at any moment. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.